We fled east, with the darkening sky behind us lighted by the many fires downtown. Some have later called the retreat organized, but I think it only seemed that way because we were all running in the same direction. Seattle was lost the moment those ships entered the harbor, and there was never any real chance of our holding the city. I try not to think about all those we were forced to leave behind. Captain Bannon kept us in a semblance of order, but I'll never know whether we were actually obeying his commands or they just happened to coincide with what we all thought best. We followed the freeway into the suburbs, with the war close on our heels. Some artillery had already landed in the area, and I remember seeing a broken swing set lying on its side next to a blackened crater. I think that was when it hit me. We had been invaded, and nothing would ever be the same again. All right. He doesn't seem very happy with that guy. Yeah. Oh shit. What do we do? We kill him. Wow, that's a lot of people. They better get a move on or the commies will pound them to pieces. I guess it's on us to protect them. Damn civvies. Wonder when Colonel Sawyer will get here. We need the reinforcements, but I could do without him. Continue toward the bridgehead, Parker. Get some defenses up by the freeway. Won't be long before the commies get here. Moving into the transport for fight, sir. Embarking, sir. Want a fast transport somewhere, sir? Fueled up and ready. Driving All right, quickly. so Engine is running, sir. we uh, retreated from Seattle as we could not hold it as there was thousands upon thousands of Russian troops there. And only the National Guard and some U.S. Army and some U.S. Marines get a were there. Get move on, Parker. We need to get Still, these positions up ASAP. We couldn't hold it. Looks like the commies have caught up so with us. So we're tactically some retreating into positions here. that we can hold. Nothing to be worried about yet, but I get the feeling more are on the way. So we can Got get organized and kick some ass later. Fire. And remember, we don't have any reinforcements to call on, Parker. Here. Driving to that perimeter, sir. You're probably wondering why did I put the infantry units inside the forest? Well, two reasons. One, they're protected in the forest, and two, they can't be seen in the forest by enemy forces. Unless the enemy Martin, forces are the Russians have gathered a lot of civilians and some houses not far from here. Now they're putting them on school buses. We have to get to them before the commies take them away. Getting a ride, sir. Reporting so it gives transport. them cover and it gives them concealment. That was the last one, sir. We're all in the transport. Yes, sir. APC moving out. Moving as ordered. That's the spirit, Parker. Get him. Let's light up some Russians. Them, so we can get those civvies out of there. Good job, Parker. Right. 
least you can do something right. Eagle Six to Captain Bannon. Give me a sit rep. Bannon here. We're engaged at the bridge, and we're trying to get a bunch of civilians out of the area before the Russians come in force. Come in, Parker. Russian infantry has been sighted near a house belonging to General Levinson. I just talked to him. His family is still there, and they must be evacuated before it's too late. I wonder where those bastards got his address. All right. Oh, shit. That would have been bad. Do it up. APC moving out. Acknowledged. Grenade away. Awaiting impact. Firing armor piercing down. Target. Target vehicles at the armored infantry support moving. Didn't even have to get a tow on it. Negative is our going. Nice. Good, you got him out. I'll let the general know that his family is safe. Now, see to the rest of the evacuees. Understood, Captain. Get those civvies across. We're moving into the area now, and I can call in some fire support for you. Roger that, sir. Parker, we have to hold the bridgehead while the buses move across. Don't let any Russians through. Okay, people, this is how we'll do it. Parker, you deal with the ground forces as best you can. Bannon, if you see any units that Parker can't handle, radio their position to me, Buddy, and I'll relay it to the artillery. The school buses carrying the evacuees have started moving across the bridge, Colonel. Good. Don't let the Russians through. They're using helicopters to drop troops on our side, but we'll make sure the road is clear. Eagle 6, out. We're going to sprint to the target. Mission Parker, make good use of them. I have infantry in the woods to the north. I reach you, Captain. Target marked. Oh, I lost the Humvee. I didn't even realize it. Shoot. Shit, there they are. on killing Russians. We've handled the first wave, but there will be more coming. Meet me near the bridgehead in 10. Time to meet Colonel Sawyer. Kind of reminds me of Gibbs on NCIS. Here he comes. Lieutenant Parker. Good to see you alive. And Captain Bannon. 
Seems I can't get rid of you. Seems that way, Colonel. Well, from what I gathered, you did a decent job at organizing the retreat, but I'm prepared to let bygones be bygones. <laughs> Screw up again, though, and you'll pay. I won't, Colonel. We'll see. This is Captain James Webb, and this is First Lieutenant Parker and Captain Bannon. They fought with me in Europe. Hey, it was tough going over there. Sorry I missed it. <laughs> you shouldn't be. We need to see about blowing that bridge so the Russians don't roll over it. Get back to your units. We'll take it from there. You there! What's your unit? Washington National Guard, sir. We were don't matter. To... I need an orderly and you're in. Get your stuff. We're moving. Come on, man. Now, soldier. Bannon, what the hell were you thinking fortifying that position? Sir, it was Parker who... Never mind. We can use a forward position there to delay the Soviet main force when it arrives. That would be the perfect job for you and your tanks, Bannon. Get over there now. Yes, sir. Bannon out. Webb and Parker, Ivan's gonna come down that freeway like a cannonball on fire, and we have to delay him long enough for the bridge to be blown. If we let his heavy armor get across, the entire state will fall before we know it. Understood? Affirmative, sir. Come on, Parker. We'll dig in on the other side. Patching him up, sir. Parker, I'm leaving some of our reserves to you. Call in what reinforcements you need. And these are the reinforcements. Points. Good going, Parker. Units. Now get those shovels out. This is Eagle 6. It looks like we're going to be here for a while. I've contacted the Air Force to see if they can help us blow the bridge. But they failed to respond so far. Sir, can't we just leave that bridge and get out of here? If we do, Washington State is lost, Bannon. I thought I made that clear. You are to hold until told otherwise, Captain. Understood, sir! Lieutenant Parker, we have to do something about those Soviet helicopters. I just got a line on some out-of-service anti-air batteries in the area. If you could fix them up, we might get rid of those choppers once and for all. Your reinforcements are on the way, Parker. They'll be landing shortly. Stay clear of the area. Finally got some air defenses up. See if you can fix the rest of them, Parker. Probably thinking, Black Dog, how'd you know that so much? Well, I already played the campaign. It's, <laughs> I won't try to cheat as much, but can't help it sometimes. This is Eagle 6. Good job. Now hold them back while I see about getting that bridge below sea level. Probably save it real quick. It's the tough part. Yeah. I'm gonna save Happy Freak. I've had too many bad experiences with not saving. Good to see those AA guns back in action, Lieutenant. This is Bannon. How long are we supposed to stay here by ourselves? Until I say so, Captain. You should be happy to be here considering what you have to answer for. Now focus on killing the enemy. are fully functional again and Ivan has ceased sending his choppers into the area. All thanks to you, Parker. Fall back a Excellent bit. job. You're the man, Parker. I got an M60 tank attached to my company. But you probably... Hooah!